Hi everybody, welcome to Saturday Live at the Backyard Bird Center. Real quick one today because it's uh, Saturday before Mother's Day and we've got a break here between customers and thought we'd just do a quick one for you. Uh, the hummingbirds are really rolling in right now and so that leads to lots of questions about uh, the hummingbird and the nectar. So I thought we would just uh, catch you up on that real quick. Remember, hummingbird nectar is basically Kool-Aid for hummingbirds. It is sugar water, four parts water to one part sugar, just regular granulated ta uh, table sugar, not powdered sugars, not brown sugars, not honey, not artificial sweeteners, none of that. So uh, uh, you don't have to boil it. You can just use hot tap water, just don't want enough to make that sugar break down into the sugar water. Um, you can store it in your refrigerator, the excess for uh, up to like two weeks or so, um, and, and you know, just pour what you need into the feeders. Uh, the most important thing about nectar is that it's kept fresh. Uh, just make sure that uh, every couple of days, every three days, make sure you t uh, change out that sugar water. I always say it's like Kool-Aid. Would you make a pitcher of Kool-Aid, sit it out on your deck railing in the sun, and then go out there every day and pour a glass of it to drink it? You wouldn't do that. And that's what you're expecting the hummingbirds to do at, their hum at your hummingbird feeders. So make sure that you um, uh, keep it fresh, keep it turned over. Uh, the questions always come in. What about... Uh, and nectars, uh, concentrates, and things like that. Well, some of the nut nectar concentrates are good. They, they use natural dyes in them. Uh, one of the companies that we use uses hibiscus flower for the red color. Uh, you, the nectar doesn't need to be red. Uh, I always ask how many times have you seen a hummingbird go up to your feeder and put his eye to the hole and look in there to see what color the nectar is before he takes a drink. They don't know what color the nectar is. They know what color the feeder is. And, and as long as you've got that that feeder the, uh, a red flower or you know a colorful flower you watch what a hummingbird does in your garden he feeds it all color flowers not just red ones but red's just the classic and what we've kind of trained hummingbirds to feed at so uh, keep it fresh keep it uh, uh, don't worry about artificial colors please don't put in uh, chemical dyes in your use natural dyes if you want to but the clear is by far our, our choice um, you can use commercial nectars if you want to, but please make sure they don't have any preservatives and things in them. Um, you know, we want to keep it natural for the hummingbirds. It, we don't know for sure that they hurt them, but for sure if it's in there, it could possibly, you know, cause harm to them. So uh, make good choices when you're, you're a good hummingbird steward, and they'll be repay you in kind by visiting your feeder and entertaining you. So thanks for the idea for the program. Send in more. Um, give us a like if you would. Share those videos. It really helps us out. Until then, happy Mother's Day and come by. Let's talk birds.